This happened and I was so caught off guard by it, I didn't know what to do. I just knew I had a problem and I needed to figure out how to solve the problem. But th there's just stages of, of, of maturity in adolescence that you just kind of got to let kids sit in, all right? I'm going to get to the point, don't rush me. I have one son, I have three sons, one daughter, but this one son in particular I'm talking about is my son Uriah. He said something that was so crazy. I didn't know how to respond. And he said that when he grows up, I I'm going to play the video for you. Just watch the video. Oh wait, you know what? I guess I have to get married. Why? Because I don't want to work. <laughs> What? So what does that mean? Oh, uh, so I leave um, the girl without the working. Whoa! You will not. Why? Because that's not what my children do. Uh, so is that what's supposed to happen in the Henry family? Is that, that is that is what happens in the Henry family. And but anybody, not here. anybody with my last name will be working. That's what we do. You can't tell me what to do when I'm a grown-up. No, I can't. You're right. Okay, Maya told me that he that when he grows up, he wants a cool, cool girl, that, and then he wants to marry her. What? Yeah, he wants to marry a cool girl. <laughs> a cool girl. A cool girl. <laughs> Got it. Hey, whenever you get married, I'm going to play this on your wedding day, and I'm going to say, look, don't marry him because he's going to make you do all the work. Yeah. Like, Hi, can I have can I marry your your son? Hey, Don't do it. You better run for the hills, girl. <laughs> that man's broke. He's gonna do nothing but eat ice cream <laughs> and watch and use up all your SDG and me. <laughs> run for the hills. <laughs> this dude is ineligible. My son out of his mouth in my home said that he does not want to work when he grows up. He wants to marry someone who's gonna do the work for him. He wants to marry, find a wife to do the work for him. And that's just not how I'm raising my boys. So I was very caught off guard and very irritated that he said this. And I knew that I had to have a plan to change this, but I didn't know what to do. I think because I spent time as a stay-at-home dad and I was working while they were sleeping, they thought that, you know, you could just kick in and do nothing all day. And they don't really know that like taking care of them is something. Like it took work to, to take care of them during the day. Um, but, but what I'm saying is I need a plan to usher him into manhood properly. And my friend Jefferson Bethke, along with John Tyson, has figured out how to do this. They have created a curriculum for fathers and sons to help fathers usher their sons into manhood in a beautiful way. And I just wanna introduce you to this. Now, I know this this is coming to an end. There's only like five or six days left. So depending on how the algorithm is working, you might miss this altogether, but I just have to put this out there for the early birds, the people that clicked the notifications and got me on speed dial to know that you need to sign up for this program, right? I want to usher my sons into manhood in a way that's going to give them the sense of responsibility it takes to be a man, right? Some stuff that I didn't really think about when I was a kid, but I want them to know these things when they're ready. Now, I know that it's going to take time to do this, but it's right now very important that we train our boys how to become men, right? And what does that look like from a father? That is extremely important. So what does a rite of passage look like for a young man in America? But they get to drive when they're 15, they get to smoke when they're 18, they get to drink when they're 21. There's no honorable way to usher kids, young boys into manhood and I think these guys got something really dope, right? Now it is geared more toward Christian men, but I do think it's very valuable to just peer in. So just check out the website. You ain't gotta press no button or nothing like that. Um, but I do think it's important that you check it out. It's called The Primal Path, and I gotta do better by my boys, and I'm excited to usher them into manhood. I might come up with something eventually myself, but right now, I'm following the lead, right? So somebody's leading the way in this area, and I'm taking advantage of it. You should do the same. See y'all next time. Peace.